What's going on everyone? It's me Marco from PhoneDog.com and 4K is an emerging technology. Basically the 4 in 2014 basically stands for 4K. Well in the tech community anyway. At CES this year we saw 4K everything, 4K tablets, 4K TVs, but we don't have anything in our pockets that can shoot 4K, but that's actually false because there's two phones right now that can shoot this legendary 4K resolution. Now 4K, you might be thinking it's 4000 by 2000, but it's actually 3840 by 2160 in actual resolution, which is a huge number of resolution and that looks amazing. So what you're about to see will make this intro being shot at 1080p look basically garbage compared to the 4K resolution off these two phones. And the phones in question is the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 with its 13 megapixel camera and 4K video resolution on the recording and the brand new LG G Flex. 13 megapixel camera, 4K resolution on the video. Which one will battle it out to have the best 4K resolution? Well, make sure to watch. This is also an attachment to the full dogfight we have coming of these two phones. So make sure to stay tuned for that as well. But enjoy this video in its amazing 4K resolution. I think Google Chrome is the best way to watch the 4K on YouTube. So make sure to swing over there if you're not already and watch this video in its full 4K glory. If you have a 4K TV or a 4K monitor, then you'll see the best experience. I don't yet, but I have some coming on the way. So make sure to stay tuned for all of that and enjoy the video. This will be an interesting test. Why? Because even if these two shooting a massive resolution, it won't be the best 4K video you've seen. But when we hit our 4K revolution sometime this year, we want our phones to output the same resolution, which makes this test a very interesting one. There's nothing too advanced about these video systems. Both lack optical image stabilization and just record the ultra high definition content in 30 frames per second, so which one will come out on top? Here is the LG G Flex in its 4K glory. Now the color gamma, which means what color the video consists of, is more on the cooler side, which means you see a blue hue or a tint to the video. The detail, while in close focusing range, is fine, but if you focus on some of the branches far away, you do see a heavy amount of moiré and aliasing. Not a huge amount like you see on large sensor DSLRs, but enough to almost ruin a video. Now two things I'm noticing with the LG G Flex is one, the way too overexposed shot here. In bright conditions, it has a really hard time sorting out dynamic range, so it overexposes the whole shot. And secondly is the tremendously slow autofocusing system. There is no touch to focus on the video. I'll say that again. There is no touch to focus on the video, and it takes a good 5 to 10 seconds for the LG G Flex to realize what to focus on. More troubling when you're focusing on a macro shot or something really, really small. Now switching over to the Samsung Galaxy Note 3, first off, it has way more color. Just to show you how much more color data, here's a side by side of the LG G Flex on the left and the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 on the right. Deeper and more vibrant colors are found on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. About the same in details and has the same problem with moiré and aliasing. Other than that, it's pretty much on par with the LG G Flex, but I do have to give the upper hand to the Note 3 in autofocusing. Touch to focus is great, but leaving the video to its own will and power will focus correctly about 90% of the time, and it doesn't even require you to touch the screen. So the verdict is these two will not give you the best picture, but an easy way to transition into 4K video. So the Note 3 and the LG G Flex will be the solution if you just want to get out to 4K. But if you just want the best point and shoot 4K video camera, it's the Note 3 hand hands down. So make sure to let me know what you think about 4K and whether it's worth it or not. Send your tweets to at phone dog underscore Marco and while you're there, give me a follow. But for now, my name is Marco Hanna from phonedog.com. See you next time and thanks for watching.